Hello everybody, welcome or welcome back to our channel. My name is Lei, I am a mother of two and we are a family of four on a financial journey of becoming completely debt free where we take you guys step by step and payment by payment along the way. If you're new to this channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video and I really hope you enjoy this content and decide to stay. And if you guys are returning, thank you guys so much for your continued support as we navigate through this journey. Oh my goodness, you guys, long time no talk. It's been about three weeks to a month and so much has changed. Um, my husband just received an offer letter. What day am I filming this? Friday. So yesterday morning. Um, so we're super excited. So our budget and everything's going to look different because with him getting the offer letter, I'm going to be taking a um, a step back from the side hustle position that I'm in just to allow us more time to truly focus on motherhood and finances. I did during some downtime a few months ago really get into Canva and doing saving challenges. I just never had the time to continue it. So I'm super excited to kind of get back into a more routine thing. Also as fall is rolling around, so is fall sports, which we will talk about in the budget. Um, as I'm filming this, it is currently, we're about a week into the month, so I'm really, really behind on doing our budgeting and our finances. So the way that I think that we're going to do this budget is I'm just going to pick it up where I left off. So I'm going to do a monthly budget, but I'm going to do it from today's date. I hope that makes sense. So, I am using the papers by Jessica Ann. That is this planner. I did a whole walkthrough on this planner, you guys, if you're interested. This is a pretty big, bulky planner. However, it is your everything in one planner. So, this is going to be your finance planner, your day to day, and your faith planning. Now, the faith planning section is a little bit on the smaller side. So, if you're truly looking for a planner that is going to have all of that. Um, you might need to have like a faith planner on the side, but I enjoy it for what it is because it has scriptures in the back for times when you're feeling um, unmotivated or sad or happy. It has different scriptures based off the feeling and kind of where you're at at the moment. So like I mentioned, we are in the first week of September. Um, when I'm already filming this, the first week has surpassed. Um, so I'm just going to be doing the budget based off the income that we're still going to be receiving and the bills that we are still having to pay. Um, so you're going to see, like, for example, electric's not going to be on there, um, our cell phone payment, and that's because we already took care of those with our first check of the month. And so the only things you're going to be seeing are the things that we still have to take care of. So it's also going to look like our income dropped, but that's just because, you know, I'm behind on filming and we're just going to pick up where we left off. Um, so for income for the remaining of the month, we are anticipating bringing in $4,600 for the next three weeks. Um, now, because like I mentioned, my husband received the offer letter, I don't really quite know what the start date is going to look like, when the training is going to look like, and when that first paycheck we receive is going to come in. So for the month of September, I'm just going to budget it with the income that I know for certain we're going to have. I would rather budget on a worst case scenario than try to over budget and then scramble at the last minute and try to figure out, okay, what can we cut to make the budget work? So God willing, it is more than that this month, but if not, starting in October is when the full budget will take place. So for our bills and expenses, the remaining bills that we need to take care of is our mortgage. If you guys are new to this channel, we are a month ahead in our mortgage payment. It is just something that brings um, comfort to me, especially with given how 2023 has been for us. It's been definitely a whirlwind. Um, so our mortgage is normally $1,563, um, but we're going to be putting $1,700 aside for the mortgage payment. We also have an HOA and we put $60 aside for that. We have our internet, which is $140. I talked about this in my last video and I still need to make sure I follow up with it, but I need to call around to see if we can get like a better rate on it. Where we live, we really only have two different options. And I've spoke about this before and they're always trying to say like, okay, what is the other company offering you so we can see if we can match it? So I need to leave a little reminder note for myself to be able to do that. And then we have our three personal loans. Uh, 
Okay, and that is going to be 101, 80, 89, and 67. The one for 67 is a little bit lower. We had made an extra payment and I guess I had didn't, when I had selected the extra payment, I didn't select principal only. I just did an extra payment. So they applied it to our following month's payment. No harm, no foul, but this is your reminder when you're making an extra payment, be sure to click um, principal only. So it actually goes towards that principal. Um, I'm not too upset about it because again, it just makes it in September that the next payment will just be a little bit lower. But in the long game, since we are in a debt payoff journey, I definitely need to keep that in mind. And then the next expense that we have is our Xbox subscription and that is $15. We have our car, $235, car insurance, $130. And then the million credit cards I feel like we have. So we have a total of five credit cards we are working with, credit card one, two, three, four, and five. And two of these, um, 90, 267, and 368. So these last two credit cards are going to be including snowball payments. Um, I mentioned before when I've been trying to do like our budgeting and budgeting setup, it was really hard for me to figure out where I would like to put those snowball payments within the budget. Because of how this planner is set up, you don't have a snowball section in your monthly. You just have two big columns for your category, your budget, and your actual. Opposed to the budget mom where there is a designated section for your debt snowball. So that would be one of my cons that I do have for this planner. I did just receive my budget mom's budget by paycheck in the mail. So I'm going to be doing a whole walkthrough of it and what to anticipate from the new version because it has been two years since she's released it. So what I've been doing for this planner, now again, in October, when I go back to the budget by paycheck, it will look different, but I've just been including the minimums plus the snowball to get these numbers. And what I like to do is I like to look at what does our budget already consists of? How much can we add in extra with also making sure that our bills and other things are taken care of? So for all of those expenses, we're gonna add those up and it is going to total $3,411 and that is going to leave us a remaining $1,189. So those are the bills that we have for the remainder of the month. Luckily for us, um, the biggest expense is the mortgage and that one, since we're a month ahead, it's kind of more of like a sinking fund for the following month. And then we did do a big grocery haul earlier with um, stocking up on meats. I absolutely love it, you guys. We have officially hit fall season, so I've been doing a lot of soups and stews and crock pot meals, and oh my goodness, it is just heavenly. So for our variable expenses, I'm just going to go ahead and write this down here, slash cash envelopes. We have gas, groceries, household. eat out and family okay now because like i mentioned i'm doing this budget really funky and in the middle of the month this are the numbers that we have remaining for the month so not the month the amount that we budgeted for the full month just that we have for the remaining so for gas we still have um 200 left in our budget groceries we have 400 left in our budget Household, we have 160. Eating out, we have 100. And family, we have 50. The only budget that is on this budget worksheet that we have not spent from is just our family. And I don't anticipate us using a lot from our family budget because our daughter has been enrolled into fall sports and our son as well. And so our calendar is pretty, pretty busy. So I only really see us anticipating using this in the event that I forget to pack them like a lunch or a snack 
which I don't foresee us doing because when we did our big monthly grocery haul at the beginning of the month, we made sure that we got a lot of snacks for sports and a lot of things that are able to work very well with that. Um, gas, we are a one vehicle family, so it's really important for us that we make sure that we have enough in the budget, especially with us now being on opposite schedules. Um, a second vehicle is going to have to come into conversation and what that looks like, especially as we do plan on expanding our family in the near future. Same thing with groceries. I don't anticipate us spending the rest on this because we did do a huge stock, a huge freezer, um, stock up. And then household and then eating out. We have not eaten out yet this month. So I'm very, very excited to see what that's going to look like for us. And so that is going to total $910, leaving us a remaining $279. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to our emergency. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and do a quick walkthrough. So we did do this budget in the middle of the month. I am pretty behind on what feels like everything. This last month has kind of like went into like a whirlwind of togetherness um, because like I mentioned with fall sports, it was really important for me to cash through those items, which mean I picked up an abundance of shifts. <laughs> um, so you know, this mama was a little bit tired, but I'm really proud that we did that and we're able to cash flow it. Um, like a huge weight has been lifted off my shoulders knowing that sports are taken care of. And I think that there's something so special about paying for things in cash, right? You're not paying for something that you already did months down the line. Um, so that was something that also we did. But also the whole budgeting channel is going to be shifting now. Um, now with us being... Um, both working but making sure our schedules correlate with each other kind of similar to prior to the layoff the budget is going to allow more time for us to sit down and do the cash envelope stuffing and to film more videos and so I'm really 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 excited um, for what the fall and winter months are going to look like for this channel um, so for our remaining of the income Remaining of the month for September, we're anticipating bringing in $4,600. For our remaining bills, it's going to total $3,411. As I mentioned, two of these are going to be snowball payments included, and I do need to film our debt update video. I really, I talked about this on Instagram, but this debt payoff journey, I don't know, you guys. I, it's almost like, I don't want to say I'm losing the motivation, but it's really hard to be on social media where you're constantly comparing yourself to somebody else, especially when it comes to finances. Like I've been watching a lot more of the Dave Ramsey show and they talk about, you know, big incomes mean big shovels. And I just feel like some of us don't have big shovels. And so it can definitely be a little bit discouraging when you see that looking in, but just knowing small steps make everything possible. And then for our variable expenses, variable expenses slash cash envelopes, we have our five main categories, which is gas, groceries, household, eating out, and family fun, totaling our remaining for the month $910. And again, that's because we did that big stock up. And then that's going to leave $279 for our emergency fund. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, God willing, hopefully um, this income is a little bit more. I am budgeting on the more lower end just because I don't know when my husband's first paycheck is going to be coming in. But whenever we do get that, then we can go ahead and apply it to the budget. Most likely it will probably get applied to sinking funds because to be completely honest, we have not given that the love that they deserve. And so we really need to get back on that. So that is going to be it for our September budget with me. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are on a financial journey as well, please let me know in the comments. I love to support you and your channel. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.